Hey everyone, today I want to show you how to make a birthday magic square. So that's a special kind of magic square that uses someone's birth date in the top row. So it could be your birth date or someone else that you know. I've actually started an example here and I've actually decided to use Leonard Euler's birth date, why not, uh, which was the 15th of April 1707. Now what you might not know is that your birth date adds up to your special magic birthday number. So if I do this for Leonard Euler's birth date, 15 plus 4 is 19, plus 17 is 36, plus 7 is 43. So 43 is Euler's special birthday number. Now I'm going to make a magic square. So I'm going to fill this grid in with some numbers here. And I'm going to try and do this live for you. And uh, I'm going to try and speak while I'm doing it at the same time. Although that's not easy. Uh, so uh, what I'm going to do is uh, just fill this in and I'm not even going to try and hide my secret method here. So if I just keep filling in these numbers, hopefully we can do this so that we get a special magic square at the end. And if I fill in these last few numbers here, uh, this is what I get. Okay, now it is a magic square, so every row should now add up to that special magic birthday number. We can try that out. Let's have a look at the second row. So if I do 18 plus 6 is 24, plus 16 is 40, plus 3. Hey, it's 43. And the other row should work as well. And the columns should add up to that magic number too. Let's try that. Let's do the first column. 15 plus 80, I guess it's 33, plus 5 is 38, plus 5 again is 43. So it does work. And the diagonals should add up to the magic number too. So the 15 plus 6 plus 6 plus 16 should add up to 43 as well. And the other diagonal, which is the 7, the 16, the 15, and the 5, should all add up to 43. So this is a special birthday magic square. But as an extra treat, I actually designed this so that the four corners add up to the magic number two. So the 15 plus the seven plus the 16 plus the five should add up to 43 as well. So that's kind of an extra bonus, isn't that nice? And the four numbers in the center. So the six, the 16, the other six, the 15 here should add up to that 43 as well. And these four numbers in the top left should add up to 43. And these four numbers in the top right. And these in the bottom left. And these four numbers in the bottom right. So all add up to that birthday magic number. The rows add up, the columns add up, the diagonals and the broken diagonals, by which I mean the 17 and the 3, the 5 and the 18, add up to the birthday number. The 4, the 18, the 17 and the other 4 add up to that birthday number. In fact, there are many ways that you can use this birthday magic square to add up to that magic number of 43. Now, I want to show you how you can make one of these for yourself. And the reason that I use Leonard Euler's birth date is because the method I'm going to teach you is actually called the Euler method. So what we're going to create is an Euler square. We're going to start with a blank grid and you fill the top row with A, B, C, D and 1, 2, 3, 4. Now you're going to fill in the rest of the grid with A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4. But so that there are no repeats in the rows, no repeats in the columns, no repeats in the two main diagonals and no repeated combinations of letters and numbers. So we're going to try and fill this in sort of Sudoku style. So A can't go in the first column because that would be a repeat. And it can't go on the diagonal because that would be a repeat. So A could go in the third square or the fourth square. I'm going to put it in the third square for no reason. And if I do that, you'll find that my other choices for A are actually forced. So I'm going to fill those in. Now I'm going to do the same thing and fill in the other letters, B, C and D. And this is what I get. Now I'm going to fill in the numbers. Again, one can't go in the first column because that would be a repeat. One can't go on the diagonal because that would be a repeat. And I can't put one in that third square because A plus one is a repeated combination. We've already had that. So I'm going to have to put one in the fourth square. So now you'll find that my other choices for one are four, so I will write those in. And if I do the same for the other numbers, two, three, and four, again, this is what I get. And this is called an Euler square. And an Euler square 
is a magic square. The rows, columns, and diagonals all automatically add up to the same total, and you get a whole bunch of other magic stuff automatically as well. Now, if you want to make a birthday magic square, start with a new grid, and you can fill the top row with whatever numbers you want, and then fill in the rest of the grid using the Euler square. So let's try that with Euler's date of birth. So in the top row, I can put 15, 4, 17, 07. I can now fill in the A squares like this. I can fill in the B squares like this. I can fill in the C squares like this and the D squares like this. And I have created a birthday magic square. So every row, every column and the two main diagonals add up to that magic birthday number. You should try and make one for yourself. When you do this, you might discover that some of the values in the magic square are repeated. And that's what's happened here, but that's absolutely fine. That's okay. But as an extra challenge, you might try and create a birthday magic square without any repeated values, or as few repeated values as possible. So let's see if I can do that for Euler's birthday. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the order of one, two, three, four. So let's try and make a new Euler square, but this time in the top row using four, three, one, two. So if I make my Euler square just as before, and then I use this to make a birthday magic square, I find that I can make one without any repeated values. Now, if that doesn't work for you, then you could use completely different numbers. It doesn't have to be one, two, three, four. It could be five, 10, 17, and 50. It doesn't matter. Whatever, I invite you to try it out, have a bit of a play, have a bit of an experiment, and see what you can discover. And here it is again. This is Euler's birthday magic square, but this time without using any repeated values. And that is Euler's method for making magic squares. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you try it out. You can make a birthday magic square for yourself or maybe for your friends and family as a kind of nerdy gift. Now, I'm sure I'll have lots to talk about when I come back with a follow-up video on this. But I guess for now, if you're happy, thanks for watching.